So today I'm going to show you how to arrange this week's beautiful bunch called Hazy Days. So cool because of all of its lovely, relaxing blue and white colours that work beautifully together and are very meditative and soothing. Then I'm going to show you how to arrange last week's slightly snazzy, jazzy bunch and how to trim that down into this optic vase, which is one of our cut down vases, which you can find uh, in your account on our shop. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that. And this week's arrangement is in collaboration with the iconic Burley, who've created this unique pink chintz pattern for us for three of their beautiful jugs. First things first, uh, of course, make sure to use flower food in your vase. Use nice, clean, room temperature water and fill it about a third full. And then, of course, make sure to trim a diagonal inch off the end of all your stems, like so, because that allows more water into the stem and stops it sitting flat on the bottom of the vase. To arrange, we're going to start with these magnificent avalanche roses, which in my opinion are the best roses out there. And we're going to arrange them evenly around the edge of the vase. It's always nice to have your focal shorter flowers around the edge, working our way into the slightly taller, more structural flowers in the middle. Then I've got some of this beautiful rosemary, which of course smells absolutely fantastic. And uh, I love its nice silvery color. Uh, it looks a bit strange on its own, but in the arrangement it looks great. So I'm then gonna tuck this uh, around the edge, facing opposite each other. And then adding another bit of texture, I've got this lovely Eryngium thistle, nice and spiky in a nice sort of bluey green color. And I'm gonna create a square with my rosemary with this Eryngium. So it's sort of sitting perpendicular to the rosemary. And you can see what I'm doing is all of these flowers are at the same height, sitting around the edge, and we wanna work our way into the taller flowers in the middle. And that's what I'm gonna do now with my wonderfully architectural gladioli. And I've now got quite a nice stem grid here for the other flowers to stand up in. I'm gonna create an even triangle a little more centrally uh, using all of the other stems for support. So you can see that this now sits very nicely upright in a lovely even triangle. And now I've got my lovely delicate Lysianthus and I'm gonna stand these upright in the middle, again using the other stems for support. So that allows them to stand nice and upright, kind of in amongst the gladioli. Now I've got some of this wonderfully seasonal agapanthus, which is some of the first of the year, and these will all open uh, very beautifully over a few days. And they've got no leaves on the stem, so they slot very nicely and easily into the bunch. And you just want to dot these throughout, kind of relatively even, keeping it always, try and keep it nice and even. And then the final bit of this bunch, you'll either have uh, some lovely irises that pop open, or you'll have some alliums, uh, both perform the same uh, sort of thing in the arrangement. And I'm just gonna, again, slot these throughout, keeping it relatively balanced with the agapanthus, and kind of do it in between the agapanthus, which works rather well. So we've got shorter stems around the outside, building to the taller ones in the middle. Your roses may have some slightly browning guard petals, we call them, which can be removed by just plucking away if you want, but I really like them. So there we have that. And then in about a week's time, it'll start looking a little more like this as your gladioli and irises and agapanthus pop into life. So I'll give that a bit of a spin. It starts looking very magnificent indeed. And now I'm gonna show you how to arrange last week's very funky bunch, which is very colorful and nice into our wonderful optic vase. So to do that, first of all, I'm just gonna lay out all the stems onto the table in their varieties. So what I now want to do is cut about a third off the end of all of these stems. And it's raining very heavily outside, if you can hear it. So we're gonna cut about that amount off. Now I have to say, the irises will probably not be looking quite as pretty as this by now, so I'm not gonna include them because I suspect they're past their best. The agapanthus may be the same, still looking okay, but a little bit sad. Great, so now I've prepared all of my flowers, they're on the table, I've now got my optic vase. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my roses arranged evenly around the edge and make sure you whip off any of the lower leaves that might be below the waterline. So I'll tuck those around the edge and they can sit just over the top of the neck of the vase. Then I'm going to uh, 
do the same with my agapanthus, and I'm going to fill the gaps with my agapanthus. And I haven't actually trimmed these yet. Very silly of me, so I'm going to fill the gaps with my agapanthus. They do look a little sad, but still quite pretty and nice, so we won't worry about that. And I'm then going to stand all of my glumini upright in the middle. And you can whip off a few of the lower flower heads because that will mean the top ones will open. And then we're just going to dot that throughout the bunch. And then with the lisianthus, so we're going to have a few little bits that might have fallen off. So there's one. And then these are just going to stand upright in the middle. In fact, I'm going to take one more off save that. And then what you can do, you can either keep them for a bud vase or you can take these individual bits and just dot them throughout the arrangement which will spread the colour around a bit. And then I want to take this status and again I can do the same with the status. So break off some of these lower bits like that and like that. And you can trim them or break them off like that. And then the same with the Lysianthus. You can just now dot these throughout or you could keep one bit back, you can even whip off that bit and you can combine that into a little bud vase, which would look very pretty indeed. Great, so I've now got my final bits of Lysianthus and I'll just tuck those a bit around the edge. So I'll come around here and that could go there, just spreading the color around. So there's my optic vase and I've then got a couple of bits here, which I just want to snip down and put into one of our very pretty uh, little bud vases and you can do three of those, dot them around the table and it will look fantastic. So here's your cut down from last week optic vase, looking very special. You've got maybe one, two or three little bud vases and then you've got your fresh arrangement from this week uh, in Pride of Place. So there we go, give it all a go. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.